Hey Virgo, welcome back to your love reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new to my channel, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. This is a love reading for all Virgos. Virgo, your love life is just insane. <laughs> the drama. Always some drama. Let's see what's going on. If you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link that will take you to my booking site. And uh, yeah, just remember that it's a general reading, okay, you guys? So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross and take a look and see what the energies, the love energies are here for you, Virgo, playing out. Okay, past position, you have the Five of Wands. Current, you have the Magician. Then you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Hermit. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Swords, Seven of Cups, and your outcome is the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you have Justice. Okay, there's something happening here. There's a win-win. There's a truth coming out for you. Okay, we have Libra, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Virgo showing up so far okay i feel like somebody's coming in to talk to you um either to make something right or to try to give you some type of truth whatever it is this is something that you deserve or something it's like facing their fears we have the death card and judgment so that's double scorpio energy somebody could be on the cusp of libra scorpio um but this is like putting an end to something, overcoming fears, um, getting out of a tumultuous situation, and opening up. There's reconciliation happening here. Okay. There's victory. Now, some of you might be at this point. We also have um, Aquarius. Some of you might be at this point where you're indifferent to this, so this could be a surprise coming in for you, something that you don't expect. Okay. But it feels like this person coming in uh, is coming in with a very positive energy, a very positive. All right, let's take a look here. So the past, you know what? Let's look at the love messages first. What are the love romantic messages? Okay, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take and getting to know each other okay interesting so some of you definitely have somebody coming in here that's going to re they're going to reveal something to you and i just really it's simple i just feel like this person wants to um bring justice to the situation make something work they want to tell you uh they want to be fair and they may tell you that they weren't fair with you or something in the past. What else? What's coming in here? This is like someone's coming in like a fast talker. They have a lot to say. As soon as they open up, it's just going to like spill out of them, which might not. Okay, so the four of wands here. They want to be in some type of a relationship or a committed relationship with you, Virgo. Uh, this could be like celebration, renewal, reunion, holiday time. Uh, something like that okay that might not be related to this but this is just the energy that i'm picking up here and now i see in the past virgo there was a lot of um some conflict there was a lot of conflict uncertainty in a past situation okay there was a there was a strong there was an imbalance there was a this need to bring harmony to a difficult situation or something in your past okay um there was a lot of conflict and struggle in the waiting. Definitely in the waiting. Okay, that's Sagittarius energy. Karma. Okay, it was just trying to get at the truth about something, but you struggled with that. And I do feel like it's connected, or at least it's connected to this past position. You were trying to have things be revealed, open up. You were trying to like get at the truth of a situation in your past, and you couldn't get that. There was too much back and forth drama freaking drama all the time or just conflict or like this 
co- competing. Some of you felt like you were competing to have somebody's love or just both of you were competing with one another. There was just You just wanted peace, Virgo. You just wanted things to be fair. You wanted things to be balanced and tempered and even and easy. Okay, that energy, that thing that you were wanting, this person's coming in here. I do feel coming in now to try to make that happen. Okay, opening up. I feel like they're going to tell you what was going on. There was a lot of fear in them. Um, they may tell you that someone they were close to passed away, and that person had a huge effect on their decision and why they couldn't do something going forward, or that person has just moved on. May not have just, it may not be like a passing away in the sense of like a physical passing away, but has moved on. This person, I feel like they're charging after you. This person might have had fear of being open, being honest, being true. They, they had a lot of restrictions on them. They couldn't overcome or pass a threshold or overcome their mental struggles, right? They were just fear-based is what I feel, okay? I do. And that very thing that you wanted in the past, now they're coming in. To bring to you but there's also something here virgo where you are sitting with this magician energy you're like ready to start over you know you've already taken some kind of a risk in your life because the fool card is not here we're now on the magician you've already taken you've made a decision you already have your focus um you're waiting for your blessings to come in you're staying open I'm waiting for something new, a, a potential new beginning or a new opportunity to come into your life, okay? Um, I see you here with the hermit where you're definitely in this like reflective mode. You're not talking, you're not communicating, you're alone, you're by yourself. You're thinking about what you want, your plans, your goals, your dreams. You might be communicating that to other people or you might be thinking about... If that somebody comes back, what you want to say to them or where you're at, you know, you might tell them your the opportunity was missed and, you know, that was in the past. You have the world and now you're moving on. You're, you're seeking new other opportunities out there in the world. Um, I just kind of feel like some of you, you just feel like, whether it's too late or not for a relationship to come to fruition or be revived, a lot of you are just kind of like not ready to revive it just yet, okay? And this is energy going into uh, December. I feel like some of you are just not ready to revive something just yet. Yeah, you are thinking about love you have the knight of cups you are thinking reflecting on love offers you've made in the past to people or love offers that were made to you you're questioning you're trying to gain clarity uh, or illumination about did you really love someone or did they really love you okay um you're not fully sure about a lot of things at this time and so you're just instead making uh, strategic moves for yourself okay you're looking at what you want what you can focus on where your abundance lies what you're able to have what you can manifest for yourself in your own life and that's a good place to be you're not so virgo i feel like even if somebody from the past is coming back or somebody new is showing up you're kind of like well i'm not saying no but i'm not saying yes because you're still in this transition period. You're still thinking about what you want, where you're going, what you need, and you're sorting all that stuff out, okay? Um, so, interesting, moving forward, going towards, like in the near future, I see you on some kind of journey or you're taking some kind of a trip. You're temporarily, okay. You're separating yourself. You're making this decision here. I got to sneeze. Hold on. Excuse me. I've been sneezing for like the whole day and night. Um, I feel like you're surrendering and you're, I do feel like you're going to walk away, Virgo. Um, if an offer comes in from someone from the past, I feel like you're, you're going to surrender and just keep moving forward. Now this might not be permanently, but for the time being, 
you're on kind of a journey and you're really just like no more betrayal something's ended for you and you're moving yourself away from it now for you virgo it feels like it's ended within you energetically like in your heart you just for a lot of you look you're you're in this position here where not only are you being advised but you're in this position where it's like you got to have your boundaries up and you're trying to be persistent with that um, you're guarded you're a bit guarded there was some kind of betrayal and you're not staying in that energy anymore you're letting it go and that's very healthy for you are you forgiving someone maybe i feel like a lot of you are just kind of like raising the white flag and just saying you're done with something you're going after what you want in your life at this time look here you have the fool so remember i said the fool card wasn't here the magician was showing up well here's the fool you're taking risks virgo you're moving forward okay your other person though does not want you to go of course um they're in a healing position as well here i feel they're definitely thinking and praying about you uh, i feel like this person really wants to try to make the effort i feel like they want things to go the way they're meant to go but they do want to put something in here and it's amazing to me how much major arcana is back here i mean the most significant thing here is this person for themselves personally that they are going to come out of their comfort zone and make that move and talk to you um, but the major arcana is here um you know and talk to you about reuniting or trying to make something work the major arcana though here is this person is having a major wake-up call in their life and they are um oh i just heard being reborn um they could be spiritually reborn or um you know becoming more reborn like not who they were in the past and trying to come in and like make things right with you but they're, they're doing a lot of praying for you this person might have like they might be like becoming a born again christian <laughs> i don't know or getting their faith back this person has died and has come to the light that's how i feel okay it's reconciled it's kind of like seriously I, I look at the death card you know after death that's like you know from a religious standpoint after death it's like judgment day right this this person's soul their past they just everything's done and, and coming to the light and their deeds and all the things and um, asking for uh, justice is coming in they want to make things right um, they've seen the light that's what I feel this person is seeing the light I don't know how I don't know what's going on with them but they've had some kind of a wake-up call in their life now for you you might just be happy with that um, for others you might have been praying for that and hoping for that but you're also I feel like you know these communication and messages are going to be coming in and I feel like a lot of you are very hesitant to kind of go back down that road again a lot of you are just like you don't know you're not sure that's something you want to do okay this person though look six of swords this is the same person okay six is a reconciliation you have a reconciliation card twice um so i feel like this person is like praying for the strength and the faith uh healing to get over their fears look there's justice again okay these two cards are showing up here and that's twice okay to come in and make things right tell you the truth about what was going on with them okay and i feel like virgo you're just kind of looking at like is this person really coming in or they just lip service they're just saying what they're saying because they're you know are they still in fantasy land are they really going to commit are they going to ghost again you're very virgo i feel like you're kind of um not trusting right they're going to come in with they're going to come in with a proposal they're going to come in and try to make some kind of love offer to you um definitely they've been thinking about it they're working on this for themselves but virgo it doesn't matter what anybody does where are you in your healing and your growth that's the question because i really feel like even if they do come in and make things right you may not be ready to to receive some of you have already started over some of you have already taken off on the journey of a lifetime and have already implemented new beginnings 
in your life here. Look, a lot of you are trying to get into your Empress energy or your Emperor energy, whichever, having that new beginning for yourselves. Okay? Nurturing yourselves, powering up, leveling up. This might even, I don't know what you did, Virgo. I don't know why this person, it might not have anything to do with you, with why they're coming to this place that they're coming to now. Okay, but here they are, coming to that Ace of Cups. A blessing, you're a blessing to them. They've been given this opportunity, they've been given a second chance at life, another shot to do things right, and they want to make things right between you. Virgo, I feel like you're just, I don't know, I just, I feel like your advice here is to not jump right back in, into anything. Um, I feel like you got to wait, Virgo. This is really going to be a shock to you, Virgo. When this comes in from this person, it's going to shock the hell out of you. And you're going to be very, hesi very hesitant because of the way they come in. They come in fast and quick, like I said. N constant communication with you. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Some of you, um, like you let this person go because of all the conflict. Some of you just said no, the drama. And maybe there wasn't any communication or you told this person, I don't want to see you ever again. I'm done with this. I mean, it, and they may not have responded or they just agreed and you went your separate ways. And now all of a sudden this out of the blue, it feels very out of the blue, shocking energy, right? When you're getting yourself in a better place and you're moving on, that's just sometimes the way it goes, Virgo. But look, this person's trying to come in and like win you over. They want to win you over. Mm, the sun. They want to have that success with you, Virgo, and open up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bring that healing. Four of Swords here. It's I. You can't make this up. When these cards come out like this, you can't make this up. And this is what I feel like is coming in here with this person. And some of you, I will say, you might be very happy about this. However, for some, this might be something that you've wanted, but your hesitation is weighing heavy on me here as i'm looking at this because i feel like a lot of you made a decision and you're moving on let's see what the hidden truth oracle messages are this person wants you virgo they want you they love you so many things remind them of you are uh, remind yeah remind them so many things remind me of you this person they they have some good that's the good news they want to share for some it's like i'm ready to be married i'm ready to do this and they want to share this with you they regret lying to you but they're definitely look they're becoming a better person and this may be you know is this true i feel like to some degree yes they're trying to be better for you they want to be better for you um some of you were hoping and praying for that and for others, it's too late. It's just, but can it be healed? Of course it can. If that's something that you want and that person wants, they know they messed everything up and they want to tell you how they feel, Virgo. Okay. I don't, this person may not have expressed their emotions to you in the past. You may have been spending a lot of time trying to get them to open up and tell you how they feel to bring balance and peace into the relationship, but they might have been dismissive or avoidant or adverse you know resistant in a lot of ways to open up because of their own fears not because of you or anything you did i feel like you love this person as best as you could but you weren't getting anything in return this person cannot stop thinking about you virgo they feel that you've left them behind and that's giving them a bit of a wake-up call for sure Okay. Yep. I feel you, even though we are apart. Yeah. This person cannot seem to get you out of their, their head, their heart space. Their, the timing just wasn't right. You were trying, definitely wasn't. The timing wasn't. When you met this person, it wasn't meant at the time for you both to be together. I do feel that way. And I feel like this person wasn't able to give you what they wanted, what you wanted because timing wasn't right for them either. 
Some of you tried to make the timing right. You tried to push the timing to be right and you became more frustrated and impatient and let it go, okay? Um, but some of you did come to a place where you're like, huh, maybe it wasn't, maybe that, maybe that's what it was all about. Maybe I need to just leave this be and go live my life. And if it's meant to be that it will come to me. And if it's not, it's just not meant for me and I can't do anything about it. Okay. You were the best thing in this person's life, Virgo. Don't forget that they want to take back the things that they told you. So the things that they told you where they placed obstacles in front of the relationship going forward, um, or they didn't, or they regret. It just feels like a regret, even though they may feel like it may not have been divine timing. It may just have been that this person told you they can't right now, or they have other things going on. I feel like there's some regret because mostly I feel like a lot of you just removed yourself from the relationship. It was my fault, but I blamed you and I lost myself for a little while. So Virgo, you know, I do see this person coming in. They want to try to make effort here with you. Okay. Try to get to know you all over again. Um, they want things that they might've had some control issues to some degree. They were controlling the relationship or trying to like thinking it was Burger King. They were going to have it their way. They might've been trying to like make things go a particular way. You guys, there was a lot of battle between the two of you. A lot. I see a lot of battle. Um, let's see what the messages of love cards are. Self-care, Virgo, clear your energy field and focus on yourself right now before acting. That's your biggest message here. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So Virgo, if you're going to accept someone back, they want to take time to get to know you again. Reveal how they feel about you. Um, and your advice is take that time. Go slow with them. Don't jump back in because it will be a bit of a shock for you when they, they come in. It will. Um, and you might also, some of you might be very happy about this and jump right back in and la latch on. Others might not, but no matter what choice you decide, if you decide to move forward again with this person, go slow. In the sense where like spend the time as quality time getting to know one another and not, um, you know, jumping back into something that needed more time to simmer. Okay. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Okay. You learned something, or if not, you will be on your journey. It might have been about release. Some of you learned how to release something or relationship that you didn't feel was healthy for you. Okay. That might have not been anything that uh, some of you might not have ever done something like that before. You may have held on and held on and held on to unhealthy relationships. Major lesson here about release and surrender and letting go. That's been your greatest spiritual lesson in this connection with this person. That's what they taught you by, you know, you having to wait. A lot of you spent a lot of time in the past trying to push it forward. The lesson a lot of you learned was, wait, I have no control over this or another person. I got to let go. I can only control myself. Okay. Children might have played a huge role or have a huge role in this relationship. Okay. Could have been pushing for children or to have children together. Um, it could have been like interference in a sense with children to separate entity parties having children and um, trying to figure out ways to make something work. I don't mean interference in a bad way. I just mean it was like a extra decision that needed to be considered. Okay. You can be completely open with this person, Virgo. You can be vulnerable and you can open up and reveal some things about yourself. Should you choose to go and re, uh, pair a past relationship, Support. You're asked, being asked to lean on your inner circle during this time. Your soul tribe. Talk to your soul tribe. Or 
get a professional to help you if you're going to go back healing old wounds of childhood issues need revisiting you know Virgo I feel like two people came into this relationship with wounds from past maybe childhood and stuff like that that stuff has to be healed and that doesn't happen overnight that's not like oh, okay I see it and because I see it therefore it's healed no when you see where your wounds came from it's not just about recognizing acknowledging them it's about learning new skills um, the wounds heal by new interactions with people in our relationship so if you had a relationship with someone where one of your childhood wounds was abandonment um, when you address your abandonment issues in your other relationships part of that is like becoming secure in yourself and that also takes action to become a safe person in order to feel safe in relationships we first have to start with ourselves like the man in the mirror from michael jackson we have to become safe people in order to have safe relationships when we become safe with others then we're able to just determine if other people are safe for us right we're better able to say, oh, this person's crossing my boundaries. This person is toxic or what have you. Getting safe, that's part of your healing. Um, instead of latching on to people, because people are imperfect. Um, instead of latching on to people and holding on to people to make them your safe place, you make yourself your safe place so they can always depend on you because you will never abandon yourself and part of your abandonment issues um, in your relationships are that you um, are abandoning yourself to other people. That's, that's where the crux of the issue is. When people abandon us in our childhood, we learn to abandon ourselves. That we learn that we are not important. If we're not important to them, why should we be important to ourselves? So that's part of your healing journey read up and learn about abandonment and how to heal the self that way okay time apart distance is bringing clarity i feel like there's distance or time apart between the two of you and it's actually causing more growth away from one another than had you stayed and i don't know that either one of you made a decision to separate like deep in your hearts i don't feel like either one of you really wanted that i feel like it's something that had to happen okay patience Virgo, everything will unfold in divine timing. Like I said before, um, what's meant for you will be for you. And there isn't anything you can do about that. And what is not meant for you will not be meant for you. And there isn't anything you can do about that either. So just let it be. Just let things be. Get your healing. Live your life. Be happy. And don't stress about things. It works both ways as well. Let's take a look at your dates. I want to see what dates we have coming in for you. Hi, everybody in the chat. I hope you're doing well. If you've made a super chat payment, thank you. I'll give you a little minute to listen to this amazing music. <laughs> Take a look at your dates here. What dates does Virgo? And initials. If they give me initials, I'm going to call them out. Dates and initials for Virgo. I think this reading is going to be a little shorter than, than usual. Um, but we'll see how it goes. You hear that screaming? That's my grandson. <laughs> He's tired. He has to have a nap. Okay. 
so we have oh hold on oh, hold on Sorry, you guys, my grandson's screaming. <laughs> He's only three. So you have the two of swords. So we have, um, we're starting with the letter H. Somebody's got an X or a V in their name. An X or a V. Okay. Um, so August 2nd, I'm picking up the letter C. I'm picking up. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. October 3rd. Um, somebody's name is Joanne. And I'm also picking up, um, oh, they're just giving me this name. Uh, oh, Zamir? Or it's Zamir? Or Azzy, is it Azzy or Addy or Abby? Azzy, Zamir. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have a we have a P, a letter P. Um, somebody I'm hearing October twenty third for a birthday. Somebody is, I'm hearing ages, uh, 20, 22, or somebody's 32. I don't know that, who that's connecting to. Oh, um, Ken, the name Ken, or Kenneth, or Kenny. All right, somebody was born in... I'm hearing the two years, uh, 1972, 1973. Um, somebody's, somebody is jogging right now, jogging or running, or somebody likes to jog or to run. Um, and they're also giving me um, Greg, or a G, somebody's name with a G. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. A G, maybe there's a Gemini, a G. Did I say an R, a letter R they're saying? Uh, Ryan or um, Rianne? I keep getting Joe again. I keep getting the name Joe or Josephina or Joe or Joanne or Joelle. It's like a Joe thing. Um, oh, sorry for my sniffly sniffles. Um, there's um, an April 7th. Uh, something happened, they're saying, okay, no, they're saying something happened between the week of April 2nd through the 8th, or April 2nd through the 10th, at some point in life, April 2nd through the 10th, either something happened or that's a significant date or time period for somebody, or will be going forward, April 2nd through the 10th. Vicky, I just heard the name Vicky or Vic. Vicky or Vic. Okay. Somebody lives in a place called Uxemburg or Ux or Luxembourg or Ux Ux or like a city or a town that starts with a U. Something along those lines. Um, 
September 10th is coming out. Okay, they're giving me birthdays. Wait, they're giving me birthdays in September. Uh, September 2nd, 3rd, they're telling me. 4th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Okay. Bizarre energy. <laughs> um... Oh, okay. Mm. Are you connecting with a Pisces? Somebody might connect with a Pisces whose name starts with a could, whose name could start with a C. I feel. Is somebody here just woke up and is listening to this reading? Um. Okay. Uh, somebody has an Irish last name like Mick, 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 like Mick. It's an MC. An Irish last name starts with an MC. Oh, they just gave me Michaela, but like a last name it doesn't have to be Irish, but it's a last name that's like capital M and small C. Okay. Oh. July 14th, July 18th, oh, I just got a letter B, a B, they just gave me a B, somebody's name starts or ends with a B, And there's a Q. There's a Q. Okay. Somebody's name is Mimi. Or, uh, or am I Mimi? Mia, short, for short. There's a T. I just heard someone, they, they're saying a T. T, T. Teresa, T E, or T T I, uh, M E M O, A H O, J I. Okay. Um. So. You guys, um, December 15th is going to be a significant day. Very significant day. Hold on a second. My music just stopped. Okay, December 15th, something profound. Things are going to come into balance. I'm not exactly sure what that might mean for you specifically, but it's coming up. There might be some type of communication or something. Let's get a couple of charms and see what the messages are for your charms. I think the music is done for now, so that's okay. All right. All right, we got a whole bunch. <laughs> so we've got a rabbit. Okay, does somebody have a bunny rabbit? Maybe there's a bunny rabbit. We have... Um, I'm going to pull the ones that we haven't seen yet. Oh, flamingo. Maybe somebody lives in an area where there's flamingos. Um, there might be the birth of a child or something new with a bunny, like something happening in the spring. For some of you, a star is born, I just heard they said. A star is born. With a star. putting a, Some of you are buying a bigger star for your Christmas tree. You're replacing the one that you have. I just heard. <laughs> Okay, you've definitely got soulmate energy here. There's seahorses. That's going to resonate for someone. Um, there's also a wrench, like a tool. Maybe your person's a tool. <laughs> you feel like they're a tool. Um, okay. I feel like somebody's going to be fixing their car 
late at night there might be like a tire change or something or something um if you're driving make sure that you have like every like your your car toolkit up to date you might have a breakdown on the side of the road like at night you, somebody some of you're gonna meet your soulmate is gonna come in and stop and help you to fix your car it could be like call, calling a tow truck tow truck driver or something somebody's coming in to help you fix a car if you're complete you don't never met this person this is your soulmate coming in okay could be around december 15th for some of you um it's interesting let me say i'm also seeing somebody's baking cakes like three or four tier cakes or maybe there's going to be a wedding i don't know if people do cakes like that anymore but it's like one layer with different flavors on top of the other it keeps loading up or you're making that or you're baking them or you're some of you are making like trays of food as well maybe you're having a party or you're doing something or a buffet or you're serving food to less fortunate or something like that coming up around this time you also have an owl and i feel like there's um oh they just gave me the a vision of a pinwheel weird i just saw a pinwheel you know one of those kids toys like a pinwheel maybe you'll be seeing one or you just saw one somewhere somehow so this would be your message and there's also a gold rose here beautiful gold rose some of you're gonna get um it's like uh they just gave me it's wrapping gold wrapping over like a chocolate rose you know like a chocolate shaped candy mold a chocolate shape in the shape of a rose you get it or you give it but it's wrapped in gold foil <laughs> so it's very beautiful all right you guys that was your short little message for saturday evening or saturday day morning and i'm gonna leave it there for you guys i hope that resonated and i will see you all um tomorrow please don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and if you need a personal reading there's a link in the description box below all right virgo love you guys take care